Mitri left something here from yesterday. What is this? Oh. Anyway, let me know if you've done a great job sharing the news and if you would love to see him in the future. Alright, first news for today, Nikita confirmed that they are getting rid of barter offers on the flea market. I'm not sure when it's gonna happen, uh, but it's gonna happen sometime soon, I assume. And this is a good thing for a couple of reasons. First of all, there will be no really weird offers like this one. For example, the guy is selling red keycard for 50 intelligence folders. One found in red green keycard and one found in red black keycard. The chances of anybody legit getting all of this are very, very slim. So in the future we will be able to buy all of these items for the cash. Also it's gonna get rid of some of the scam offers, let me give you an example. For example if we go to Ladexes and we enable barter offers, there is an offer 20 Ladexes, the guy is selling them for a blue keycard, however he is not selling them as a pack. It means if you give him a blue keycard you're gonna receive only one Ladex, as he is not selling that as a pack. That's a scam offer and some people are pretty 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 good at uh, utilizing that so that's gonna be gone as well and also all the rare keys all the quest keys uh, all the keys you wanna you wanna get which you can't get because of the <laughs> really weird offers you will be able to buy them so quests are gonna become much easier just instead of farming really weird items and having a small chance to find them you can just farm money in your own way, however you make money, and then spend that money on any item on the flea you want, which I think is a decent change. Next change is the Bitcoin pricing. BSG said that they uh, adjusted Bitcoin rate factor. I'm not sure if it means that the Bitcoin price is related to real life in any way, however right now it is 260k. And if we use the real life conversion 0.2 of a Bitcoin in real life, it's gonna be 330,000 rubles, which is really close to real life. I'm not sure if we transfer this price to dollars, it might be close to close to the real price in dollars. Not sure, but that's a good change. But better Bitcoin prices, good for us. Couple of other changes. Increase the chance of hooded guys spawning. I assume that means uh, cultists, because what kind of other hooded guys do we have? That's a good thing, I tried to farm cultists yesterday and a week ago I couldn't find them whatsoever, even though I spent like a couple of hours looking for them. And you do need to kill cultists and get their, their, their knife for some quests, and it's really difficult to do with their current spawn rate, so that's a good change. Increase Rishola spawn chance. Alright, sure. Increase the minimum time from the start of the raid that's required for players to have to spawn. This is actually a great change, because whenever I play Lighthouse, I usually spawn on whatever side of the map, same as you, and if I try to cross the map and make it to a Area X, usually I don't have enough time, because by the time I go to the Area X, player scaps are already there, looting it, and I'm like, bro, I literally spawned 3 minutes ago, how is there a player scav right there? I was literally running to that area non-stop, that's not cool. And yep, I guess this is getting fixed now. Um, good thing, good thing. Readjusted the initial enemy contact reaction speed for all bosses by 30%. Um, that means whenever we start fighting the bosses, they're not gonna shoot us as fast as they did. So the first time killer sees you, he's not gonna instantly obliterate your kneecaps. You will have time to react and survive. Would love to see it in practice, but overall good change, because finally we'll be able to fight bosses in legit ways. BG also changed the rating you need to level up your offers on the flea market. Right now, if you get 7 rating, you get 3 offers, 30 rating, you get 4 offers, 60 rating, you get 5 offers, 1000 rating, you get 10 offers. I'm not sure what kind of a mental asylum guy you need to be in order to get 1000 rep on the flea, but apparently some people do get that. I typically end the wipes with around 60 rep, I would say, ish. Good change, good change. A bit earlier, BSG released a list of recently banned RMT sellers. It's a pretty big Google spreadsheet, I'm not sure how many names there are. Uh, this looks like, I don't know, uh, 200, 250 names. So, great to know, RMT sellers are getting banned. As far as I know, those sellers are getting perma banned. It is, it is not a 60 days ban as with uh, so-called buyers, those guys are getting permaban. Whenever you're watching this video, I'm probably live on Twitch, so feel free to check me out there for great content and great kills. And we're done with the news. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.